Of course, the overturning of Roe v. Wade has left a lot of questions and uncertainty in its wake. A landmark Supreme Court case provided federal protections for women who choose to terminate their pregnancies. The Supreme Court ruled Friday there is no constitutional right to an abortion. And Alabama's ban on abortions, which includes criminal penalties for abortion providers, has gone into effect. Now, with states like Alabama making abortion procedures illegal almost instantly, for some, options like abortion pills are their last hope. But Alabama has apparently allowed those as well. News 19 investigative reporter Dallas Parker joins us now in the studio with details. Dallas. This is really murky territory for women in Alabama and across the country. The U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland said Friday, shortly after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, that states could not ban FDA approved abortion pills. But Alabama's Attorney General says state law does ban those pills. The Alabama Attorney General's office directed News 19 to state law that reads any person who willfully administers to any pregnant woman, any drug or substance or uses or employs any instrument or other means to induce an abortion, miscarriage or premature delivery or aids, abets or prescribes for the same unless the same is necessary to preserve her life or health and done for that purpose shall on conviction be fined not less than $100 nor more than $1,000. Now, if it is illegal, how will uh, there's some things that remain, you know, in question about this. If it is illegal, how will Alabama trace who received these pills from out of state providers is a big question. And it's also unclear who will be held criminally liable in the event of an out of state doctor prescribes and mails those pills to an Alabama patient. The biggest question, though, is whether federal HIPAA laws will protect patient privacy information from state law enforcement in the event someone chooses to have an abortion or get an abortion pill in states where it's legal to do that. Now, to be clear, there is a series of pills prescribed for medication induced abortions because of the COVID-19 pandemic. The FDA temporarily allowed doctors to conduct telehealth visits and mail those pills to patients at their house. But the Biden administration made that option permanent in December. Now, President Biden also vowed Friday to make those pills available to, quote, the fullest extent possible, though his administration has not outlined what that might look like.